please help me welcome to our newest Walk of Famer, Michael B. Jordan, to the stage. On behalf of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, we now declare today Michael B. Jordan Day in Hollywood. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's now time to hear from our honoree. Let's hear it again for our newest Walk of Famer, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> All right, whoo, man, this is pretty cool, this is pretty cool, it is, um, it's been probably one of the most unforgettable weeks that I've had, uh, just, you know, traveling around the world, you know, promoting this movie, you know, Creed 3 comes out. It's Friday, same, shameless plug. And, um, and, you know, doing something I always wanted to do is, is, uh, is direct, you know, and, 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 and promote the old school way, you know, with family and friends and, and, um, and get this message out to the world. But I'm, 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 I'm extremely humbled and, and grateful to be here. Um, I, I want to thank the committee, you know, for this incredible honor. To be amongst artists that received this, you know, this, this honor previously, you know, Sidney Poitier, Cicely Tyson, Sam Cooke, I know it's not a small achievement. And it's not lost on me on how special this moment is and what this represents to our community. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Um, I really did not want to read off a piece of paper at all, but it's a lot of things I, I, want, to, I want to kind of get to a little bit in here. I want to thank everybody for being here today and taking time out of your busy lives and schedules just to celebrate this moment with me. I know how important time is, and, uh, and, and I appreciate you guys being here with me. It means a lot. Uh, the love and the energy that you guys send my way when I'm out doing what I got to do, promoting, traveling, working, I feel all of it, and I appreciate it sincerely. You know, I may not be able to get back to everybody all the time, you know, in a timely manner, but just trust me. It sits with me in everything that I do. I'm always thinking about it, you know, so thank you guys. I also want to thank the people who are the reason why I'm standing up here today. I'm going to start out with my crew, you know. You know, it may just be my name on that plaque, but trust me, you know, I would not be here without the people who are supporting me on my journey throughout the years. The people that ride through me, ride, ride with me through thick and thin. The people that believed in me before my name was on, you know, Hollywood Walk of Fame, you know, Phil, Greg, Patrick, you know, Brooke, Lindsay, Jove, Maggie, Leo, Chad, Bobby, Renee, Natalie, Sterling. You know what I'm saying? Those are my core. I'm not, I can't name everybody, but those are, those, those are the ones that really rock with me through and through. My amazing friends. You know, I don't know where I would be without you guys. Seriously, so thank you. Most importantly, I want to thank my family. You know, my mom, you know, my dad, my brother Khalid, my sister Jamila, my brother-in-law Jamila, and, and Reggie, and of course, the newest addition, Lennox. That's my guy right there. Yeah, give him back his phone. Uh, and the little one that's on the way. Growing up in Newark, New Jersey, the idea of receiving an honor like this was like a dream. But I've always been a dream chaser, you know? Never been afraid of hard work. That fire inside of me like led to opportunities on all my children, The Wire, Friday Night Lights. And then of course, having the opportunity to work opposite the remarkable talent of Chadwick Boseman and Black Panther. And ultimately that led to this directing, directing my first feature, Creed Three. I wanna say thank you to my brother Jonathan Majors for joining, joining me on this Creed journey. Supporting me here today, get me all teary-eyed and shit, and I don't want to be. Um, it was a true honor to watch, with the, to watch you and your genius every day from behind the camera. In a way that you made it harder for me to hop in front of the camera and sock you in the face every once in a while. 
your spirit and your soul is something I connected with from day one. Um, and when we sat down at dinner and we, we decided to be friends, I took that seriously. Um, you've become one of my brothers, you know. Uh, and um, outside of the, all the industry stuff and the film, television, and the politics and all that stuff like that, you can call on me whenever you need me, and I'll be there for you. Solid. Yeah. Cheat Creed, sorry guys. Creed challenged me in ways I never thought was possible. It changed my entire perspective on what we can do in this town. In working on a film, I was reminded of how hard it is to make anything at all, let alone something great. That's not me, that's what Rotten Tomatoes said. That's, 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 that wasn't me. <laughs> it's an uphill battle to push the boundaries of what can be done and really bring a story to life in a way that your mind and your heart envisions it. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing, it gave me an even deeper appreciation for this man that I call my brother Ryan Coogler. Pairing up with Coogs changed my entire life. From trusting me to embody Oscar Grant's story in Fruitville Station back in 2013, which brought two young black hopeful artists to a standing ovation at Cannes Film Festival, to, making of, to the making of Black Panther and creation of Eric Killmonger, one of the realest, most badass characters in the MCU, to finally making me Adonis Creed. Coog has always been in my corner. He's always been something to me. He's always seen something in me and pushed me to dream bigger of myself. So to say I appreciate you, Ryan, would be an understatement. My gratitude to you for believing in me and for empowering me with this, church, with this third chapter of Creed is never ending. Before I get out of here, I just want to say thank you for every, to, every, to everybody that's, been, that's here. Um, the people that really know me, I often say, man, I don't deserve this, you know. I mean, it seems very, um, I don't know. When you're constantly on, the, on a journey, I very rarely stop and like smell the roses and like take in moments. I'm always moving on to the next thing. Uh, from this fleeing feeling of time slipping away from me. And, you know, for the first time in a really long time, I, I, I'm, I'm taking this moment in, you know. Uh, people that I don't know, strangers, people that know me very well, uh, that see me along the way, you know, I'm taking this in, so thank you. <laughs> yeah. thank you. Let's hear it again for our newest Walk of Famer, Michael B. Jordan. We got uh, Creed 3 coming out March 3rd. Mm. Listen, man, it's happening, man. Mm. How, how, how do it feel? This is your, your directorial day, bro. How do it feel? It feels great, man. Honestly, it's a long time coming. You know, I've, I've been, uh, you know, just growing and involving. And I, like I say this a lot. <clears throat> I feel like all roads of my life, personally and professionally, kind of led to this, this, this one film. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, the film means so much to me. So much I was been trying to say about mm. it. But then also, like, it, it, it's, it's uh, you know, me personally, it's uh, it's like my, I don't know. I'm here now. I feel like I finally feel like I'm here. All the accolades, other things, the movies that I've done so so far. I feel like this is the one that really kind of puts it all together. For yeah, this your rival moment. I think so. Absolutely, yeah. that, that's major. I feel like it. Now, growing up, North, that's the hood. Yep. Growing up, did you ever connect? Could you ever imagine this? Did you know where you're like? Because you know we grew up in the inner cities, yep. and when we see some of our fathers, our uncles, our big brothers go to jail, yep. get in the street culture, yep. uh, get killed. What did you see for yourself, and how was your family? structure growing up i think for me like my family was like super important and always kind of kept my you know my, my ambitions you know big you know always been a big uh daydreamer always always been a dreamer always been dreaming you know mm -hmm. so for me growing up in newark so close to manhattan Manhattan represented like just like the possibilities, yeah. like, like just going to the city. Dad mm. taking me to you know West Indian Day parades and like going over to like West Fourth Street or Chelsea Piers to go hoop and stuff like that. Basketball City, like that represented like just you know something that was different than my environment. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, Dad was big in the community with like you know neighborhood watch stuff or 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 you know just like you know. Um, you know, block parties and just like kind of organizing just like boys and girls club, you know, was the fan, like the coach of the community and stuff like that. So we always had a strong sense of like, you know, family and community, you know, within the hood. And for me, never knew I would be directing or like acting or anything like that. But at a young age, I kind of got into other things, you know what I'm saying? Like sports was really big, you know what I'm saying? Growing up. But then, um, 
you know, have an opportunity. Like my mom, <clears throat> she has lupus. So my mom used to go back, uh, go back to the doctor's appointments all the time. Yeah. And the receptionist at the at the at the um at the at the doctor's office had two two boys that was in the modeling and stuff like that for like models and Toys R Us and the Sunday mm-hmm. paper and stuff like that. And then she was like, Yeah, why don't you you know, you know, take your take your son, you know what I'm saying, one of these auditions with me. So I went and I booked it. And then from then it was just kind of like one little thing after another. Yeah. So I never really like wanted to do it. It was just yeah. something I kind of did and just kind of found my way and just mm. kind of kept kept at it. This episode of the Million Dollars Worth of Game is presented <laughs> by Omega Accountant Solution. Omega Account Solutions is a small business champion helping those affected during the pandemic. You may be eligible to receive $26,000 per employee through the employee retention credit. You were a responsible business owner who continued to pay taxes mm. and employee staff during the pandemic. Recover the payroll tax taxes you overpaid as a refund of up to $26,000 per employee. All it takes is a quick, easy 10-minute consultation to determine